Hey YouTube! Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed week so far. Woo, guys, it has been a long <laughs> couple of weeks. Um, had to take the infant to the emergency room and then the toddler got sick and then I got sick and so just trying to heal everyone in the household. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been a lot of sleepless nights, um, but thanks be to God, we are making it through to the other side. And so that brings me to my next name of God, which is Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. I know. And it's funny how God will take you through things so that he can reveal himself to you, right? And so in these past two weeks, I have been heavily, heavily relying on the God who heals to heal my baby, heal my toddler, heal myself <laughs> so that we can, you know, move forward and, you know, live life in all its fullness. And so I am thankful to God that he is a healer and that I can call upon him for healing and restoration and that he shows up every single time. And so let's go to scripture. Where do we first see God reveal himself as a healer? We find it in Exodus chapter 15. And specifically to paint a backstory, God had just delivered the children of Israel from the land of Egypt. So they were no longer slaves in captivity of the Egyptians. And God had, you know, blessed them to be able to, you know, progress to the promised land. And so they just crossed the Red Sea with Moses and they entered into the wilderness. And so they had gone a few days without water. And and so the people started to complain and started to worry, you know, where are we going to get water? They were surrounded by water that was bitter and so they couldn't drink it, um, called the waters of Marah. And so Moses cried out to God, like these people need something to drink, they need water. And so God heard Moses' cry and responded and told Moses to take a tree that was nearby and put it into the waters. And when he did that and he obeyed God, it made the waters drinkable. And so God provided for the children of Israel. But after this had happened, God made a covenant with them, right? He wanted to test them. He wanted to make sure that they would be faithful to him and to know that he is their God. And so he says in Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases upon you which I have brought to the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals you. That's right. God presented himself as a healer to the children of Israel. And God today is presenting himself as a healer to you. You know, and this past two weeks, I mean, this is not the worst that I've experienced as far as sickness is concerned. But I want to tell you and encourage you that every single time, every single time that I have been faced with sickness, that I have been faced with discomfort, that I have been faced with something that has been broken within me, whether it be spiritual, physically, uh, or mentally, God, Jehovah Rapha, showed up. He showed up in a time that I needed him most and he brought me healing and he brought me comfort. And I am so thankful to God that he is a God who heals and that he knows his people and he hears our cries. So when we call out to God, he will respond. And we see examples of how God, through Jesus Christ, healed cured a man of leprosy, healed blindness, right? Made the lame to walk. So God can do it for you. And he will use whatever means necessary through the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, or directly touch you so that you may be healed. So if there's something in you that needs healing today, if you are believing in God, to erase a disease, erase a sickness, eradicate it from your body. I am praying today that God show up for you, that God our healer, Jehovah Rapha, show up for you in a mighty way. Just like he did for me in my household, he can do it for you if you believe. Believe that God is a God who heals. He has proclaimed it in his word and he is telling you that you don't have to face this sickness alone. You don't have to face adversity alone. God is with you. God is going to protect you. And as long as you remain faithful to him, God will remain faithful to you. And you too can call him the God who heals me. So I pray today that you 
realize and discover Jehovah Rapha for yourself and see in many ways how he can heal you and heal your family and be all in all to you. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha, for healing me, for healing my children, for healing my husband, and for healing anyone in my family who may be struggling, O oh God, with something, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray for the person watching this video today. If there's any infirmity, if there is any sickness, if there is any disease that is currently ravaging their body, oh God, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus and I ask that you send it out and drive it out in Jesus' name. I pray, oh Lord, that you will be their Jehovah Rapha, that you will heal them in Jesus' name, that you will cause your healing, oh God, to permeate, oh God, into their bodies, oh God, and that you, oh God, will remove anything that you have not placed there in Jesus' name. May they touch and agree today and now, oh Lord, that they are healed in Jesus' name, that they are healed by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus, oh God. Heavenly Father, I pray that they walk in that healing, oh God, that they walk, oh God, in that truth, oh God, that they accept you, oh Heavenly Father, as their Jehovah Rapha, that they know that you are the God who heals, oh God, and you have did it before and you can do it again because you never change, oh God. You are a God that is for your people, oh God, and you made a covenant with the children of Israel, and we can follow that same covenant today, oh God. We will keep your commandments, oh God. We will be faithful to you, oh God, and we will learn to lean on you, oh God, and seek your kingdom first above all things, oh God, and as a result, you will be our healer, oh God. You will be our Jehovah Jireh. You will be our Jehovah Rapha, oh God. You will be all in all to us, O oh God. And so we claim it as our own. We claim you as our own, O oh God. And we cling to you, O oh God. And we ask for a healing, O oh God, to wash over your people now in Jesus' name. There's a lot of sickness and disease in this world, O oh Lord. And we need healing. We need healing, O oh God. And you said, O oh God, if your people who are called by your name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways then will you hear us from heaven and heal our land so heavenly father we ask oh god that you jehovah rapha show up oh god and cause a healing to come upon our lands cause a healing to come upon our bodies cause a healing to come upon our spirits cause a healing to come upon our minds oh god be with us now and forevermore lord jesus in jesus precious name we pray amen May Jehovah Rapha show up for you today. Amen.